All right, guys, no uh, fancy mount, uh, no microphone, so you have to deal with it. We'll call this an adjunct. I just want to show you kind of some issues we've been dealing with the past two days. The snow came, you saw that. If you look out there, it looks very glistening. That's because it got just warm enough today for it to, to melt. And now we have freezing drizzle falling on top of it. And what that means is tomorrow, that whole area out there is going to be frozen dead solid like an ice ice skating rink. Unlike right now where, you know, I take a step and it, it breaks. Um, when this sits overnight, it's not going to be like that. It's going to be, well, it's going to be really dangerous. Especially for, you know, creatures that don't think. Like Charlie the dog there, and even more so, big giant dogs like Max's German Shepherd. Now, I'm only going to have to deal with this till about noon tomorrow. So my concern is making sure that my dogs, who are part of the team here, have a place to do their business in the morning. So if you look here, what I did this morning, because I could already tell this was going to be where we were going to be at today. There's dog and person tracks everywhere. So this whole area right out front here, I just walked back and forth, back and forth like a grid. And that, gave, if you notice, it's not sitting here all glistening on top. That gave all of the water that melted a place to go. So I've given them like a little area that I don't have to watch them. I won't be able to let them run. I'll have to stay on top of them. But they'll have a safe place to do their business. A little bit more on preparedness. I took the vehicle out today. No big deal. The roads are in pretty good shape. Uh, we've had time for them to be, you know, thawed out from usage and what have you. But the sidewalks, I went to a store. Sidewalks outside the store covered in ice. Parking lot's covered in ice. My driveway's covered in ice. So... You know what I'm wearing? They're called, uh, I don't remember what they're called now, but they're little, uh, basically spikes that you put on your boots. They have elastic, uh, goes around them. I'll put a link so you can find out about these things. They're about 10 bucks a pair, and they save you from breaking your neck. To tell you how icy it is, I saw the first time today a duck couldn't deal with ice. Um, they've been kind of comical, they've been sliding all over the place. But one of the Cayuga Drakes, uh, could be him right there, ended up on one of the swales today. And it was frozen over. And he was sitting on a sheet of pure ice. And between the ice on the bank up and the ice on the water, he couldn't get out. I had to go get the pool pole and push him out. And I think he'd been there a while. He was pretty spent because he made it to the fence and he just gave up. I picked him up and he had no resistance to it. That's not normal. Usually when you pick them up, they want to fight back. I carried him back to his buddy, so I decided to put everybody in early today. The babies are eating like crazy. I, I don't know that we call them babies anymore. Maybe we won't call this an adjunct now. We're at three minutes. This is maybe just not the quality you came to expect in the last couple episodes, but uh, this is what's really going on, so we'll call this a full episode today, guys. But I got some work ahead of me. It's going to be a mess in the morning. And... Uh, Good news, it'll be in the 50s tomorrow by about 2 o'clock. And you know what's going to be on Tuesday? 75 degrees. And then it's going to be in, uh, uh, Wednesday, I think, is going to be 34 for the high and 27 for the low. Girl on the news called the weather around here bipolar. Uh, that was one of the most intelligent things I heard on the news lately. Because this is like bipolar weather. This is like dealing with a complete psychopath for weather. But uh, the ducks are doing well enough. Arnold there's all frozen up again. Uh, but last night everybody stayed together. So we've got it going that far. I'm going to shut down now before the phone gets too much water on it. Even though I have a case on it. I never like to see uh, water beating up on the screen of my iPhone. And we'll catch you guys later with another episode.